First it was trade, then tech, then came the Indo-Pacific standoff and cyber snooping. The US-China-Russia rivalry that has been evolving from a contest of influence to a global turf war is now going beyond our planet. Our next story takes a look at how China and Russia may build a nuclear plant on the moon to power a lunar station. Take a look. Three superpowers. One desolate lunar surface, a new frontier where old rivalries sharpen into something unprecedented. The world's most powerful nations are no longer content to spar over trade, technology, or military might on Earth. They are now racing to plant their flags and their nuclear reactors on the moon. For years, the US, China, and Russia have jostled for supremacy in every conceivable arena. From tit-for-tat tariffs and technology bans to military drills and proxy wars, the struggle for dominance is relentless. Now, the battleground is shifting skyward. The moon, once a symbol of human unity and wonder, has morphed into the next chessboard for global power politics. China and Russia's audacious plan to build a nuclear power plant on the lunar surface. This is not some far-off projection. Official presentations now openly discuss timelines, reactor designs, and the logistics of constructing an international lunar research station powered by nuclear energy. China's Chang'e 8 mission, slated for 2028, will lay the groundwork for building a permanent manned lunar base. What makes it even more interesting is the collaboration between Moscow and Beijing. Russia's space agency Roscosmos said last year that it planned to build a nuclear reactor on the moon's surface in partnership with the Chinese space agency. Three, two, one, boosters in and lift off of Artemis 1. The implications are seismic. The US, with its Artemis program aiming to return astronauts to the moon by December 2025, now faces a direct challenge, not just in exploration, but in the militarization and control of resources in space. The prospect of a Chinese-Russian nuclear-powered base inaccessible to NASA and its allies, signals a new era of exclusion and escalation. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.